So we did hand tosses in both roles. So somebody leads, and we did right over left, and it was a one, two, three, follows right turn with a hand toss on seven. That could have been on one also, though. Okay, so let's do that first one. Ready? And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six. Do that one more time. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. And stop there. Good, switch rolls. Just as a reminder, we're talking about tossing it down like the path that the arm would naturally be taking it and adding momentum to it, letting go really quickly. Ready? And one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three. We'll show it over here. One, two, and three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Good. Version two. Look like this. A right side, same right turn with it on seven as well. So somebody leads, let's try that one. Right side, ready? And a one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Huh? You can switch rolls if you wish. Try it on both sides. Today was about learning where we are in the stages of learning as both a leader and a follower. Good. Okay. The third version, the fancy one that we really only learned on one side, but you might have figured it out on the other. It was left and left. If we're double crossing, you know, with this over or under, you can just let go of that into this left inside turn followed by a hand toss on one and a crossbody free spin. I'm gonna show over time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's try that one. Somebody's leaving. <laughs> Ready? And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. 